Now, since I have all my storage cleared out, my iCloud has been cleared out, I cannot upload more videos. So, um, yeah. So, February just ended. I'm still watching movies. Still love movies. And now I'm going to give you my list of from the worst to the best movie I've seen of the month of February. February. Right, number 19. Beauty Shop. It's like a female version of Barbershop. It's terrible. It's f so cringe. Skyscraper with Dwayne Johnson. Black Knight. Uncle P. Crimes of the Future. 2022. Yeah. Ant-Man 3. You know, Quantumania. Ex the Expendables. Spanglish. The Hunt for Red October. King Kong 1933. Barbershop. Glass Onion. You know, Knives Out 2. Clerks 2. Creed 1. Now we're getting to top 5 territory. Where I will explain more context why I love these movies. Because I don't want this video to be too short. So, Platoon. Number five, Platoon. Great War. Go for your PlayStation, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I need a PS5, bro. I'm saying, bro. PS4 is... PS4 is dying on me, bro. So, Platoon. Willem Dafoe. It doesn't star Willem Dafoe. But he's in it. And he's the best part of this movie. <laughs> no surprise there. Um, yeah, it's a great war movie about, you know, pretty much how most war movies go. It's just a simple Vietnam, you know, descent of madness, you know, like the fate of humanity, uh, like how one side is different than the other side, how... You know, but like something happens here, you know, a guy turns on his own team. Kind of. It's crazy. It's well written. It's well acted. It's well directed. I recommend it. Platoon. Uh, number four. Us. Jordan Peele's second movie. I thought it was awesome. It was creepy. It was scary at times. It was very entertaining, a lot of action, you know, thrilling, enjoyable, just like Get Out, and, uh, yeah, I thought, hey, throws and chills, man, you know, fantastic, Jordan Peele was incredible at this, so, uh, yeah, it was that, Puss in Boots 2, I gave a short review on that, on the YouTube shorts, well, I'll break it down for you. Animation, story, the writing, the cast, the characters, the acting. It's just all very well done. And very much worth the 10-year uh, wait. Very much the 10-year wait from the first Puss in Boots movie. Yeah, and I like it a lot more than the first Puss in Boots <laughs> this movie's a masterpiece. Puss in Boots 2, you know, great villain. Death. Awesome. Great message behind it. Great themes. It's just all really well done. Really well animated. Really well crafted. Fantastic. Number two is Nope. Jordan Peele. Again, kills it. I think this is his most entertaining work yet i think this is his best movie sorry get out fans and us fans but nope is easily his, his best work my favorite it, it's so it, entertaining it's hilarious 
is interesting, it's creative, it is original in most ways. Um, you know, like this weird alien thing that hides in a cloud. Like, what, bro? It's so freaking cool, man. And it's horrifying as well. It's creepy at times. Like, it, it, it generally was scary. And that one scene where the the creature... It's a creature, not a ship. It looks like a ship, but it's fleshy, kind of. It's like a big blanket sheet, like a bed sheet, kind of. It's a weird shape for a creature, but... Yeah, and it's just like this little box, and it sucks things up in that box, but it only, uh, it only consumes or, you know, digests organic matter, so it can't consume, like, metal or wood or other stuff. It can only, like, consume, digest, like, humans and animals, so... Yeah, and there's this one scene. Flies over a main character's house. And it dumps all the blood. It sucks up a whole bunch of people. You know, digests them. And dumps... Dumps their blood. Like, spews everything out on top of the house. And it's such a thrilling and... Horrific scene. It's so well shot. Incredible. Incredible. Number one. Mommy y'all been waiting for. <laughs> Citizen Kane. Love this movie. So freaking much. So good. Bro, I had to watch this for... I'm doing like a film... Film and history class. So, I mean... Obviously... Probably for most film majors... You gotta watch Citizen Kane, one of the greatest, most influential movies of all time. And hey, I'm not complaining. It's fantastic. The, the way it's shot, the way it's written. You know, of a man only searching for love. Because that's basically all he needed. His whole career, that's all he wanted. Was just to be loved. You know, he's doing everything he can, getting all this money, all this fame, all this power, but he lost one important thing, and that was love, and that's all he needed. He didn't care about everything else. He only cared about love, and the way he was told, the way the story was told was through, like, an interview of different characters' perspectives. Because we're trying to find out what this, what his final of Kane's last words was. I forgot, I forgot what it was. But at the end of the movie, it shows that it was his sled. His, like, his last good memory. His last good hope. Right? Was the sled. And it gets burned. Like, his last thing to hold on to life just gets burned all along with all his other stuff like he loses everything even that sled his one childhood memory the one thing that mattered to him the one last thing that mattered to him such incredible imagery and just very uh Revolutionary for its time. Citizen Kane is incredible. Fantastic. Just think of Wolf on the Wolf on Wall Street, but just better. That's pretty much it. I uh, hope you liked this video. Managed to make it 10 minutes. I love talking about movies. And uh, I hope I continue to. A lot more in the future because, you know, this month, March, got Scream 6, Creed 3, um, John Wick Chapter 4, 
what else the new demon slayer movie and uh there's i think shazam's coming out too shazam 2 is coming out yeah there's like five six movies coming out this month that i'm so hyped for bro the last few months the last two months nothing really nothing really caught, caught my attention besides like the megan movie which I was okay about. I mean, it was good. Megan was pretty good, but you know. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. You know, subscribe. Thank you for like 180 subscribers. Gotta get me to 200. And uh, peace.